Bonjour. I'm gonna show you my project about a sliding door, automatic sliding door controlled by an Arduino unit. Uh, Arduino is a set of microcontrollers used for do-it-yourself projects and they are very versatile. Um, in that case, I have uh, rebuilt my old uh, electronics from the sliding door. Uh, it wasn't an existing electronics, commercial electronics, but uh, the thing was that uh, they burned. Um, unfortunately, a uh, little reptile, a lizard, uh, came into the, the cover of the electronics and uh, it touches, I, I suppose, the 220 volts uh, circuit and it burns. Uh, so that, uh, this is the, the, the result, this is the cover. As you can see here, uh, all was damaged. For example, the, the, the plastics, uh, even the, the, the mine board was almost melted. Uh, there is some holes in this here, you can see. Uh, there is a lack of uh, components because I have recovered a lot of them just to save it to my projects because I think I can recycle it, uh, some of them, uh, for example the, the truffle, the, some relay, um, some other stuff. Okay, uh, this is uh, to the trash. Uh, more things, and as you can see here, all was carbonized, even the plastic uh, a bit melted. Okay, then uh, what I have proposed in this here is how to replicate this this thing. I have made a design. This is from Fritzing Software. Uh, it's a free software. is is so useful to things like that. And I came up uh, with this idea. Uh, it consists about uh, the mine circuit and taking profit of the existing elements such as uh, of course the motor, uh, its capacitor, a uh, light bulb to, to serve as indicator um, and a lot of things. Okay, but don't worry about that. Um, I have put in the box description below uh, a link to the, to the web of Arduino uh, in fact, I think it's the Arduino Project Hub, and uh, in there you you will find the flowchart, the original code that I have uh, designed, it, uh, and a lot of things uh, useful to replicate this if you like it. Okay, um, what we need to do that project? First of all, uh, of course, we need something to support it, uh, such as, for example, a breadboard like so. Um, of course, another important thing is the Arduino Nano. It's so tiny, but very versatile. Uh, for example, uh, relay module. Uh, this is for four relays. We will use it just three of them. And these relays are intended to be used by the Arduino Nano directly, but. Um, I have had to make some modifications to the circuit because uh, we are moving a motor that is powered by 220 volts and uh, high temperature. Uh, so that uh, I rather prefer to uh, use uh, big ones relays, but excited from the secondary circuit uh, of this of this one, something like a, ca a relay cascade. Okay, uh, another thing, for example. Uh, display or LED display like so. Um, this is a little but very cool uh, element. Uh, this display is used uh, for sh to show the status of the circuitry, the face of the code that is executing. Uh, on fact, uh, when in normal conditions, the the cover of the electronics uh, hide this element so that uh, you are not able to see that but uh, it, it's so useful when you are uh, adjusting or fine-tuning the, the elements of the circuits at the first stages is very useful uh, you will see the, the demonstration later okay uh, last thing about for example a little power supply uh, this power supply is uh, well, it's a, a bit limited because it has not very capacity uh, to a lot of amperage. But uh, for little microcontrollers such as the Arduino Nano, it, it's enough. Um, 
but uh, I think that maybe it will be useful also to use uh, a trafo, a uh, big one, just to just to supply the power uh, to other modules such as the radio module, for example, the photocell or things like that. Okay, uh, another thing. This is the trafo. This is what I meant. In fact, this is the uh, recycled one. And another thing will be the radio module. Okay, uh, this is a commercial radio module. The radio module uh, came with uh, some remote controllers. Uh, this is very useful because uh, when you push the one of the buttons of the remote controller, it's already pre-programmed and it will activate one of the relays. And the, this relay is used in this project to issue the open command to open the door, of course, and to close if the door is open. And you, you will see later. Okay. And another thing will be extra devices such as uh, general purpose relays, but the big ones. This is the relay that I meant when I was presenting these these little ones. Okay, so let's check it out how it works. This is the sliding door, the original sliding door, and the original mechanism. Here you are the mechanism, uh, inside there is the electronics, uh, so that the, the part, uh, part was in this here, and we have to substitute that. Okay, uh, later we will see. Uh, there is some guides on the floor. Uh, these guides are used to slide the door up and down. This is the light bulb. Is used as an indicator when the door is opening or closing, um, just for safety reasons. And we have done uh, some modifications in the code uh, so that the cadence, the frequency of the light opening, um, turning on, and turning off. I mean, uh, is different depending on the phase of the code that is executing. For example, it's not the same opening the door or closing the door or waiting uh, for the car to pass and later on. Uh, to close. Okay, another part. Now we are outside, uh, the other side, I mean, and here you can see the photocell. Uh, this is one of the parts of the photocell, and uh, the other one is in here. When something interrupts the way uh, between them, uh, I don't know if you can hear the click, uh, because there is a relay in here that is activated when the light beam is interrupted. Okay, this is the important part. As you can see in here, there is the electronics, the new electronics that we have built. Uh, there is a nylon board. Uh, in fact, <laughs> it's a cutting board for the kitchen, but I have modified it just to hold all the components. Okay, here you will recognize the breadboard with the Arduino Nano in this part, the OLED display in here, the relay module in here, and the radio module in this part of, of here. Uh, this is the capacitor for the motor, the original capacitor, okay. Uh, the motor, of course, it's a powerful motor to, to move the, all the weight of the, of the door. Uh, on the other side, you will find the 220 relays. Uh, they are used just to power directly the, the motor in the, the both, in both directions and they are commanded uh, from the um, low voltage Arduino relays. Okay, uh, other parts are uh, on the lower part you will find in here the trafo, the original trafo that I am using to uh, give the power supply to the photocells for example for the radio module and another little uh, power supply as I have shown uh, before in the in my workshop uh, just to direct power supply to the Arduino Nano and the OLED display uh, five, uh, with 5 volts. Okay, and another parts are some fast tones in here just to make all the connections. And another important part uh, is original because I, I have not touched it is the the limit sensors uh, in this here. They are used uh, to control when the door is in that case uh, closed or, or open. For example, if you slide the door uh, in that direction, uh, this releases the micro switch so that uh, this is the the working position, but when the door is closed, uh -huh, the limit sensor of closing is uh, activated. And the same way, the other 
way when the door is completely open uh, it will come in this here another thing that make pressure so that the other micro switch is activated and it indicates to the Arduino that the door is completely opened okay I have set up this extractor so that you can see the, the OLED display result uh, while the door is, is working. Uh, let, let's try. Okay, let's try to open the door. Here, yeah, as you can see, the door is opening. The limit sensors are, uh, they both release it. You cross the photo cell, there is no effect because it's in the opening phase. close again. Now we could see uh, two things. Uh, first one is just wait and then uh, after 30 seconds the door will close again or just to issue again the open command and then the, the, core, the door will be closed. Okay, it's closing again. Now let me pass to the door. The door stops for a delay of one second, more or less, uh, one or two seconds, I don't remember finally what I issued in the code, and the motor stops, uh, stops completely, so that uh, opening uh, process starts again, and then now we are in the waiting status, uh, okay, but I can issue the, the command again, and now the door is closed. the cadence of the light bulb flashing and now it's almost closing okay and it stops in the right uh, moment Well, and that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, remember, if you need more detail about the project, uh, the schematics, for example, or the software code or anything, uh, you will find it in the Arduino Project Hub. Uh, you will find the link in the description box below. And um, that's all. Au revoir.